In this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite page flip transition in Fumora, which we're going to have to download, but don't worry, it is free. All right, so these are going to be the two videos we're going to be uh, using this transition on. We're going to transition from this video into this second video here. All right, now to get started, we're going to go over to filmstock.wandashare.com. So if you uh, have a Fumora account, go ahead and go to this website and log in into your Fumora account. It's going to take you to this page. This is going to be the page you are going to be able to download uh, different transitions. Okay. Now to download this effect, we're going to go over to the search bar and we're going to search for Japanese graduation volume two. Go ahead and search for that. All right. So this is going to be the, the first one you're going to see here, which is new. By the time you look at this, it might not be new, but this is the one that we want to download. As you can see, this one has a blue uh, diamond here, which means it's free. If you go for the other ones, which are, you know, from the standard library, these are going to be the ones where you need to uh, have a subscription to film stock. Okay. This first one here, you don't need a subscription. It is free to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. All right, so once you have this, you want to go ahead and hit download here. And if you just want to see what you're going to be downloading here, it has 10 different titles, 18 elements, uh, uh, four different effects, zero music and six transitions. What we're interested in is going to be the transitions here. And on the bottom here, it tells you the things that you are going to be uh, finding in here. OK, as you can see, the effect is going to be this one here. So I'm going to be downloading everything. Go ahead and hit free download and it's going to ask you to open for more. Go ahead and hit open one to share for more 13. If you have it closed, it's going to go ahead and open the app. And if you do have it open, it's going to open another page here. So this page is going to allow you to download uh, things here. As you can see, I can see my download progress here. And it kind of like shows you things that you have downloaded in the past. As you can see, I have quite a few things that I've downloaded in the past. Now, as you can see, this has completed downloading here. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I will open for more. All right. So once you open for more and you're going to see these little red dots here on the different uh, sections uh, that, you know, had something downloaded into them. Right. So this uh, d this uh, specific pack had text transitions, effect effects, filter and uh, stickers. Right. So that's why you see these little dots here. It tells you there's something new that was downloaded in here. Right, so if I go over the text, if I go to mine, it's going to tell you exactly what is new as you can see there's a green dot here this is going to be the text that came with it we are interested in the transition so go over to transition if this is closed open up mine open up material pack and the last one here which is japanese graduation pack volume two all right so this has some pretty neat uh transitions here that we can use but i'm interested in this first one here which is the japanese graduation pack volume two transition number one click drag and drop this in between your clips before I do anything to it. Let me go ahead and make this a little bigger. If I do anything to this, I'm going to go ahead and just play this so you guys can see how awesome this looks. I'm going to play this and really cool effect here. Now, if you want to customize this, all see you can uh, double click on this and these are going to be the different settings that you have here. First off, you have the duration, which you can change through here right, by clicking and dragging like that if you want it to be faster you make it shorter and you're gonna see how fast it moves here right but this is pretty quick here okay now second thing here is you also have the transition mode so for me i prefer these to be overlapped because i wanted to overlap between the two videos that as this video is going off the screen i want the other video to show here you also have the ability to have it as the prefix so go ahead and do that over here now if i play this So you can see that this is also pretty cool. Depending on what you're trying to do here, these are going to be the different settings that you have. Okay. All right. So, all right. So the next thing is going to be, you always want to have include trimmed frames. You always want to include those frames. So you don't have anything off on this effect. Okay. Now that is how you're going to be able to use this effect. Now, one of the cool things I like to do is if you have multiple things that you want to use this effect on you can go back here go to the effect go ahead and add this here let's say this was a different size and this over here was a different size as well what you can do is you can go back to this first one here where we have our desired settings you can just hit apply to all 
it's going to apply these settings here to all the other uh, effects that you have on here all right now that is pretty much it for this video i'll see you guys on the next one